good morning everyone hello hello good morning all i am warmly welcome you for this session image processing application which was organized by pantech solutions and aimit st aloysius college mangalore i welcome you every respected professors every students and every hobbyists welcome you all so before going on to the session there is an announcement uh, all participants please fill up the attendance form link will be given in the description around uh, 11 10 am okay so before that uh, i want to know uh, is it audible guys i want to know is it audible just tell me yes or no so that we'll proceed on to the session so is it audible guys i just need a uh, is or no yeah hello good morning good morning all good morning good morning nikhil good morning good morning everyone i just need to know uh, is it audible guys yeah thank you uh vikant yeah thank you so we'll proceed on to the session so uh, i hope you are all safe so before itself i'll introduce myself myself sanjay i'm working on pantex solutions for about uh, Four years. I'm working on the department of uh, artificial intelligence or with the uh, image processing as well as uh, brain computer interface technology. So and then good morning, yeah, good morning, very good morning. So I hope you are all safe. Uh, this um, COVID-19 getting worse now, right? So I hope you are all safe. Please be safe. Uh, just uh, be inside your home and uh, stay learning. Don't stop your learning. This uh, quarantine is for you and not for your learning. So do learning as much as uh, you can. So we'll go into the session. Yeah. So first of all, about uh, AIMIT. So AIMIT. Uh, is the new campus for uh, mba and it programs offered by uh, st aloysius college mangalore and their vision to empowering youth through excellence in education to shape a better for human kind and this aimit is also autonomous college which is uh, located in uh, mangalore a uh, well known college uh, which is which is having a lot of departments uh, in their college okay so we'll proceed on to the pantech so about pantech uh, we are almost having uh, uh, branches on uh, seven uh, state in all over the india and we have uh, this pantech was established on 2004 and we almost have 100 plus teams and we have conducted 1500 plus workshops and 250 plus a faculty development programs and we have conducted 500 plus seminars and uh, if you take um, online retail store we are the online retail store for every uh, department's lab equipments which includes electrical electronics mechanical in every department and uh, we also are uh, selling a uh, component sensors and uh, we are also providing a uh, solutions for uh, every uh, products includes industry based as well as engineering projects and uh, we are having a research and development center in chennai uh, and we are the manufacturer of uh, several lab equipment such as microprocessor development boards microcontroller development boards fpga trainer kits fpga tra development boards and artificial intelligence kit artificial intelligence uh, trainer kit and a brain computer interface technology that is uh, bzi uh, uh, headset or uh, bzi devices and uh, we also retail store for engineering products as well as a project and our vision to gain global leadership in providing technological solution through sustained innovation so and then these are the table of contents so which we going to see today so today there are interesting demo going to be there so first we'll discuss about a uh, image processing like uh, what is image processing how it is getting evolved and then uh, uh, we'll discuss about the libraries which is required for image processing actually the image processing can be handled or can be done in uh, then majorly in two area two uh, two domain or uh, two platforms one is matlab the well known uh, image processing uh, software or tool or programming for uh, image processing as well as video processing as well as signal processing and the second option we can go for a python with the help of opencv and other uh, variety of libraries we can perform uh, image processing in python so in here in this session is made for only a python okay now we are going to see about a demo and the basic operation by using a python and i am going to show you how to install a python and how to install a library some basic library i am going to show today 
and we are going to discuss about the basic operations for basic operations with the with the help of different libraries so that you will let you know uh, how to install those kind of library also and then uh, we'll have uh, applications of uh, match processing so what are all the applications uh, which is uh, present in now or in the future uh, it includes a AI based camera completely on artificial intelligence based image processing we are going to see this in this session uh, we are not going to only cover only image processing it, in, it also includes artificial intelligence with image processing uh, so that uh, which is which is uh, which is the current trend in, um, in our uh, complete uh, world yeah so and then finally we'll have a live demo so in this live demo i'm going to show a demo on uh, cryptography using uh, image processing with the python and opencv and then uh, we'll have a real time object recognition using uh, yolo that is uh, you only look once so these are the demo which we're going to see uh, today okay so uh, we'll move on to the session guys i think uh, everything is audible right so i hope uh, you are getting uh, well uh, and good audio as well as video okay so we'll move on to the session so first of all uh, we there we are having a bit about uh, image processing so what why we are going for image processing why what's the reason behind it that is nothing but an electronic eye so if you uh, if you let us uh, if you see uh, actually uh, let us uh, let us compare everything with the human okay the main motive of uh, every technological development is nothing but to reduce the human efforts first thing to reduce the human efforts and to work on 24 cross 7 from by the machine instead of uh, human so to make a system or to make a computer to make a robot or to make a machine or to make a car to be very intelligent than a human like uh, it has artificial intelligence so to perform any other application so if you take uh, this normal Im uh, image processing so nothing but so if i take a human human is uh, have a has an eye right so by using eye they are processing lot of images uh, which will be helpful for recognition which will be helpful for localization which will be helpful for identifying which will help helpful for uh, detection lot of application we are performing through eye so what we are going to do is we are going to take that uh, application or that uh, that uh, that uh, function to a machine to a machine or to a computer or to a robot to make a image processing so uh, we are going to make a machine or computer to do same kind of functionality uh, which is dining in a dining through eyes and brain combination so eyes will be helpful for visualizing and brain will be helpful for recognizing so from the eye we are going to see so for example if you see this water bottle so i will process this image and brain will it will recognize this is a water bottle since i am having this knowledge so so those kind of recognition is going to uh, is, is is happening right so by using a camera a device which will be helpful for analyzing a camera or uh, to analyze the image so we are going to do uh, this image processing application with the help of camera in the camera there are a wide variety of cameras are there so normal usb normal web type camera or uh, raspberry pi like a csi interfaceable camera or artificial intelligence based camera or um, kinet uh, that is uh, 3d 3d camera uh, kinet sensor you know i think so so kinet as well as um, other uh, lot of cameras are there 3d or 2d vision camera mission vision camera artificial intelligence based camera already our mobile are containing ai camera right so whenever we are uh, opening our camera it is automatically detecting the person's face so face detection that is nothing but a face detection it also can be performed by you okay so those kind of basic operation which will be helpful for a machine or computer to recognize the image or to recognize the object we are going to provide a uh, eyes for a machine or a computer okay so that's for uh, those kind of application or software we require a image processing okay so that is image processing later on we'll discuss about a digital as well as analog okay so and then libraries so there are wide variety of libraries so if you're going through a python so if you take for example if you take a matlab it has inbuilt uh, commands or inbuilt syntax for every uh, every functionalities there are in matlab if you take matlab there are toolboxes like software toolboxes or hardware toolboxes uh, in the add-ons there are lot of packages available you can directly install it and use it for your application and uh, deep learning toolboxes so lot of toolboxes and software packages are there in matlab 
so in matlab you can directly install it and you can use uh, for your purposes so for example here in the python there are also a libraries which will be required for different applications or different performance okay so for example uh, if you take a scikit image so scikit image it also includes algorithms for segmentation geometric transformations and analysis filtering and morphology and future detection so future is nothing but so if you take an apple and that banana what are all the future what are the future behind the apple and the banana can you tell me so for in the apple and the banana what are the futures first thing shape right so apple is different from the banana shape so first future is shape second thing color so if you take apple there are uh, apple colors are available green or red or pale orange or yellowish color so there are a lot of colors if you take banana uh, it will be around in uh, yellow or red or green so there are there are two futures right one is uh, red, uh, one is color and then shape so there are two futures so for every object there are a futures right like future detection for that you can use a scikit image so and then if you going for pill okay and also it also supports for uh, opening uh, image or manipulating or saving many different image in the many different format you can use a pill so for example if you take normal satellite image okay if you are going to do or perform one satellite image processing application that satellite uh, image can't be processed in uh, every libraries of uh, python it uh, supports this pill supports that satellite image processing so that uh, that may uh, have some kind of extension that is very uh, very memory uh, it uses high memory so it consumes more memory uh, a satellite image if you take a satellite image it has contains of more data in it so we need certain kind of library such as pill to do to process and uh, that kind of satellite image and open cv it is a very basic library for image processing application uh, which includes a normal um, normal what uh, normal image reading or image resizing or uh, shaping or uh, rotating and uh, camera camera uh, taking a uh, feed from the camera uh, this open cv you know so it contains lot of uh, basic uh, single line commands so if you search for uh, open cv cheat sheets so it is available in single command so to convert uh, bgr to gray so it will be available to bgr to gray or uh, any filter means uh, there is a median filter default syntax so those kind of basic libraries which is available basic syntax is easily available there okay and then if you take mahatas mahatas includes many algorithm implemented in c++ for speed while operating in numpy arrays or with a very clean python interface okay and then if you take scipy so scipy contains uh, scipy also contains uh, basic operations or basic functions for linear algebra or integration or interpolation interpolation or fft and signal as well as image processing so scientific python that is known as scipy and then if you take numerical python so it is be helpful for uh, doing array kind of operations like arrays uh, matrices so if you take any image so if you take uh, image of uh, single okay single this uh, this box okay so if you take a single image so it let us assume this is an image so it contains nothing but a rows and columns of matrices nothing but a pixels so each and every pixels are there so pixel pixel it will contain rows and columns so it is nothing but a matrix so we need to uh, process an image with the help of these kind of matrices so by using a numpy you can uh, do those kind of processing okay and then uh, these are the basic uh, libraries or uh, still more further there are lot of uh, libraries which is available okay and then uh, if you take uh, normal uh, open cv okay so before going on to the session i'll have uh, i wish to show a uh, little bit um, uh, procedure to use or um, uh, to install a library okay i'm going to show to uh, this today now so first uh, if you are uh, very big uh, very beginner okay if you are very beginner since this session is for beginners so i'll show you how to use uh, uh, normal python okay so for example if you take uh, python you just directly go into the python okay so there is option called download python always it is uh, preferable or advisable to install a new version okay so you just go into the download python okay and there is a version called download python 3.8.3 okay so you just directly click it so if you need uh, some kind of uh, previous version also you can install it from here okay. so this python 
3.7.8 or 3.7.6.11 what are versions are there you can simply click a download and download the python okay so there are a lot of uh, availabilities you can download python okay From this here uh, you can type or uh, you can choose uh, what format you need okay so i have uh, this um, windows 86 or 64 executable installer so it will start downloading this uh, software okay so i have already installed it so i'm i'm just showing for you purpose okay so you just click the download i hope you all know how to install it just click next uh, as well as checking an agreement so you just click next and just install it okay so that is the first part but that is not enough to use that python programming or uh, to install libraries so I'm, I wish to show you how to install libraries in the command window and how to use this your python in your command window itself so I'm going to show you that okay so for that what you have to do is you have installed already a python now okay so if based on your versions you can choose a specific uh, python okay so you just type ideally okay after done installation there will be ideally okay so you just right click the ideally and uh, you just go for a open file location okay so what i what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make that python to be identified from the command window itself so you just click open file location okay so it will redirect into your another location so again you just right click it and uh, you just click uh, open file location okay so it will redirect you there uh, where the python is this python i have installed through visual studio that is optional uh, whatever wherever from wherever you can install but uh, to make python to be identified from the terminal the procedure is same okay so only pro only thing first we have to do is uh, first we have to uh, first we have to uh, install or first we have to go into this directory okay and then what we are what we need to do is we have to copy this directory okay where well, we have to copy this directory and then what we have to do is uh, so there are two locations okay these are the main location to identify the python okay but we need to install some kind of libraries which is based on the pip like uh, pip that is interpreter python interpreter okay so for installing a library so for like pip install uh, uh, pip install um, open cp python so that kind of pip we need to include okay so for that we need to do import two location in our um, environmental variables so how to go there how to do that okay so here this is the main location okay and then there are two another location that is inside a script so inside the script will have um, pip okay so these are the two location we need to paste in a uh, environmental variables so for that what you need to do is you need to right click this or uh, this pc and go to the properties okay uh, and then uh, we have to go into the environmental variables okay so if you here if you are here this is the uh, windows 10 uh, these are the windows 10 uh, so just uh, it is a properties and then you just go into the advanced system settings and click yes so and then here we are in, uh, inside the system properties okay so we are in the system properties on that so you just click the environmental variables okay so you just click the environmental variables so okay and after after going into the environment in environmental variables there are user variables for uh, your name username okay so on that you just go into the path okay you just double click the path on that path if you see here uh, there are a lot of uh, positions which is placed okay so on that path we have to paste our uh, our python location so for example if you take uh, sorry so again i am going into the environmental variables so there are lot of path in it right so on that path we have to paste that uh, location a uh, first location for uh, python as well as uh, for uh, scripts that uh, pip install scripts okay so if you see here i have already pasted this Microsoft Visual Studio bin everything for visual uh, code okay likewise you have to paste that location with the follow loop of uh, semicolon okay uh, for example uh, you have to paste I have already dropped that one okay 
so you have to copy this location and we have to go into the environmental variables and you have to paste it here okay so C program Microsoft Visual Studio shared Python 3764 okay a similar like you have to go into the scripts and you have to copy the location of inside the scripts and uh, by follow-up of semicolon you have to paste that location also okay and then you just uh, click uh, click ok okay so now I have already imported it so I'm just going to cancel it so instead you have to click ok okay so and after that that's it you just click ok for every places okay so if you have uh, done that one so that's up to now right uh, now that uh, will automatically load your location okay. so for that what we are going to do I'm going to show how to install the uh, uh, libraries okay so now what you have to do is you have to go this uh, go into that uh, uh, terminal terminal and run as an administrator why because some of the uh, system needs administrator permission to install a library so what you can do you can check it out now so if you type python now so it will automatically shows python 3.7 as a default library so until you didn't load it loaded it in a uh, environmental variables it won't show in your uh, command window okay so after loading it in the uh, environmental variables only it will show this python 3.7 okay so i'm going to terminate So now I am going to show how to install a library also. Okay, now more and then run as administrator. Okay, now you can type directly. So pip uh, install opencv hyphen python. So since I have installed only a uh, pip, uh, that is a pip only the python 3. So I am directly putting a python pip, uh, pip install. So if your system contains both python 2 as well as python 3 I should uh, since I have in, uh, imported that location of python 3 only so that's why I am directly doing a pip install otherwise if you are having two pip one is python 2 as well as python 3 you have to click uh, type python pip 3 install opencv hyphen python okay so here it shows already satisfied here since I have installed the opencv already so this is the basic installation of opencv basic commands or basic uh, functionalities this installation is enough but if you need a in-depth functionalities of opencv you need to grow go for scratch installation it may take uh, one hour to install everything you have to copy paste lot of libraries lot of pre-requesting are there so you have to install it from scratch for um, in-depth installation of opencv okay but this is the basic installation of opencv so this is the procedure to install uh, normal opencv okay so if you see here this opencv will be helpful for uh, reading an image and uh, showing an image as well as writing an image into the directory and the cv2.8 key of 0 is uh, nothing but it is nothing but uh, to show it in your um, show it in your uh, window like until you are uh, pressing a control c or uh, termin until you are terminating the code it will show you the uh, image so that i am show so it will show that uh, img the, that uh, show image until you are pressing a control c and if you have pressed the control c let's see it would destroy all windows which is nothing but uh, it will close you the all window which is open currently opened okay so these are the uh, open cv uh, basic function to read show as well as a write an image okay so this presentation which will be available uh, in the presentation uh, presentation deck okay so okay so these are that and then uh, what we are going to do is uh, so we'll moving for image filtering so that also uses a uh, uh, you are getting screen is not visible okay one minute i'll check it out Sorry, sorry guys, uh, I have uh, twisted that uh, image screen is uh, changed now, I think so. So, I have uh, changed it. 
changed now. Sorry, it's uh, very funny, right? Yeah, it has been seen automatically. So again, I'll show that. Okay, okay. Where's from? Uh, shall I know where from I start? Um, I need to know where to start from uh, what will check out last 20 minutes okay okay so okay I'll proceed with the Python installation okay so nothing but it's very simple so you just go into the Python website like uh, python.org and go to the downloads okay so Python So you just go into the python, I hope you are uh, visualizing this uh, now. Okay, so uh, you just click this download, so you can install any latest version. So you just directly click a download, okay. So after it is downloaded uh, and you just start installing, I hope you all know about installation. So that is very simple, just uh, click next and uh, you just accept the license, okay. And then what you have to do is you have to look for so and then after you got ideally you just uh, right click it uh, and then you just open uh, open a file location okay you just right click and open file location okay and after open the file location you have you just uh, go into uh, right click again and you just go into again that uh, open file location okay you have to two times you have to go into the open file location so it will be in the right directory which you have installed this python okay so what you have to do is uh, you have to copy this uh, location directory okay here we have already this uh, python location so what i have to do is so here which we require is two things one is uh, direct python um, uh, python location as well as uh, scripts that is uh, pip installations so for that two things we need this uh, python installations so first i am copying this directory and then you just right click this this pg and then go into the properties okay you just right click this this pg and then go into the properties and you click the advanced system settings okay and after that uh, here there are option called environmental variables and you go into the environmental variables and go into the path okay so on uh, inside the path you have to you need to paste the directory okay so on that path i have clicked this one so these it's already showing lot of uh, paths in it right so for that what we have to what we need to do is we are we need to paste the location okay the first location i have already pasted it okay and then again click uh, again type a semicolon and go into the scripts folder and you just copy that scripts folder now okay now paste the scripts folder now and then you click ok so okay now i have already imported this kind of uh, location so i am not going to click ok now so only thing you have to click ok now okay and then click ok for every area okay so that's it so we have pasted two location in our environmental variables one is this normal uh, uh, python 37 32 that is normal location and another is uh, another is scripts location okay so we have pasted two things so i'll show how it acts in our uh, command window okay so what we need to do is we need to open our uh, command window in our administrator permission you just click to more and then run as administrator so after going into the ad, un, uh, run as admi administrator you just type python and enter okay if you see here now it shows python 3.7.4 okay so so the python integration is done in our command prompt so if you are done it uh, directly so it won't uh, show python in your command prompt command prompt okay 
so now we have included this python 3.7.4 in our command prompt okay so and then uh, i wish to show you how to install an a library okay so this is ready now so if you see uh, you can directly uh, check your code also so you can type directly so import open cv is this successful so likewise you need to open a uh, code or uh, directory but if you need to install an a library how to install it already uh, we have opened this uh, command prompt in a administrator permission so now we can directly type pip install open cv hyphen python this open cv uh, this open cv installation is a very basic uh, installation procedure uh, which will give you only a uh, basic uh, open cv ba every basic library or basic functionality of open cv but if you need a okay which includes uh, every python basic libraries okay so that is uh, up to here so this is for basic open cv installation as uh, same as like i have already included uh, in my uh, presentation here so you can uh, go directly for installing every basic library so if it is for uh, basic open cv installation so which includes a uh, read i am show as well as a uh, write functions so wait key resembles that how much time it will uh, it should wait to show an image so here we have already included i am show so that's why uh, it it will take uh, in unlimited time to show that image okay so and then finally it will have uh, destroy all windows so whenever you are pressing a control c it will close every window so it is for basic operation for showing and reading as well as a writing an image in your directory okay so this is for uh, this is the command for basic installation of library you can use either option pip3 pip install opencv hyphen python if your system contains two kind of two pythons one is python 2 as well as python 3 you should go with the specific installation of pip3 install opencv hyphen python by using this environmental variables uh, configuration you can install directly pip3 or pip install opencv hyphen python this is for basic opencv installation okay and then uh, and then we'll go for uh, image filtering using scikit image so if you need a scikit image you can go for pip install space scikit hyphen image okay so there are a lot of libraries also like matplotlib matplotlib uh, is nothing but to show uh, like matrix or uh, to show two images in a single image okay so import matplotlib uh, pyplot as plot from sk image import data filters so on that image is equal to data data dot coins so we are uh, loading that coin image and we are going to load uh, filter dot sobel so filter dot sobel is nothing but uh, we are going to apply a uh, edge detections okay so after edge detection we are going to show that edge detected image okay so by using that psyche psyche image uh, with the help of this kind of uh, psyche image library okay and also we can use a uh, further functionalities using psyche psyche image such as uh, uh, any other uh, other kind of edge detection or filters anything you can use it for this kind of uh, libraries like with the help of image filtering okay and then this if you take a numpy so numpy if you take a numpy it is very popular and uh, very easy to use for uh, kind of array or kind of matrix related application okay so import numpy as numpy and from scikit image uh, import data we are going to import a data and uh, we are imported a matplotlib also so uh, simply what we are going to do is we are going to read a camera uh we have need to uh, we need to import a camera and uh, we are just uh, numpy we are going to convert into array okay and then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to take a mask to convert it to take it as a mask okay here we have uh, used this cameraman dot tiff image which we have uh, already seen in lot of uh, image processing so on that you have took an image and what we are going to do is we are going to mask that certain cameraman okay by using that numpy so this numpy can also be used for several application but here we have used this for uh, doing a masking okay so and this it for and then if you go uh, blurring an image okay so if you take uh, any blurring an image so here we have used a scipy okay so if you take a scipy so we have used this uh, pip install same procedure for installing a scipy and then from scipy we have imported uh, misc and nd image and uh, we have include that uh, face uh, misc dot face and we have uh, done the blurring 
or uh, we have applied a Gaussian filter with the help of this SciPy. Okay, and then very blurred ND image dot Gaussian filter. So we have shown that blurred image or uh, filtered image. So here we have used that uh, Gaussian filter. Okay. So this will be helpful for blurring an image with the help of SciPy. Okay, and then if you're going for uh, enhancing image with the help of pillow. So I have already discussed about the pillow, right? So pillow, uh, so it kind of certain library which is required to do some kind of uh, uh, some kind of applications uh, which is required for satellite imaging also. So if you take satellite images, so we need to do uh, process that kind of heavy uh, images. So for that you can go for a pillow. Okay, so we have imported from fill uh, import image image filter and uh, we have opened that image and we have uh, applied this enhancing uh, syntax that nothing but image enhance contrast. So it will apply a contrast in the ratio of 1.8. So it will apply some enhancement in our image. So by with the help of a pillow. So this is a one basic library which is required for uh, normal basic pillow operation for enhancing an image. Okay, and then we'll move on to the application of image processing. I hope you all are getting uh, audio and uh, video is good, right? So I'm sorry, really, I'm sorry for you that guys, uh, that is due to some kind of technical issues here. Okay, so instead of I'm changing into a uh, screen, I just changed it into a poster. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm extremely, uh, extremely for, sorry for that. Okay, so and then uh, we'll move on to the applications. So applications of image processing. So uh, if you take applications, uh, object recognition. So first if you take an ob object recognition, okay, so if you take any object recognition. So there are, it is a major application or it is the application which have been uh, used in lot of applications. So for example, if you take surveillance and security and then traffic monitoring as well as a video communication. Okay, and then if you take, uh, if you take a surveillance and security. So this object recognition is a, is going to be the future application. It will be helpful for um, surveillance and security. So for example, this object recognition is nothing but to recognize an object in a robot. So if you take any, uh, if you have a lot, you have seen a lot of movies like uh, Terminator or iRobot or uh, Indiran. So a lot of movies you have seen to recognize an object. So in that movie also it will say like uh, take up a pick up a gun. So instead of the picking up a gun, it picked up a bun, right? So like lot of uh, this classification is also uh, is already happened, right? So those kind of application is known as object recognition. So on that movie, so it will pick up a bun instead of gun. So it is a misclassification or uh, mis object recognition. So we can also use that for in a robot. So, and if you take a surveillance and security, it's going to be the future, um, it's going to be the future uh, application. So, if you take surveillance and security, we can deploy any uh, recognition in uh, drones. So, smart drones or you can place it in your uh, traffic cameras. Okay. And then uh, it will be helpful for surveillance the uh, every citizen. Either he is uh, good, uh, good, good or uh, bad is going to do any kind of uh, any illegal activities so it can be detected by with the help of object recognition with the uh, for the surveillance and the security purpose so and then traffic monitoring so if we take a traffic monitoring we can able to detect a number of vehicles which is present in the north side or number of vehicle present in the south or vehicle present in the east or west so based on the vehicle uh, density based we can turn down the signals okay so instead of making in a timing instead of a number of vehicles place a uh, number of uh, vehicles located in the certain direction we can change the uh, we can change the uh, traffic lights okay and then video communication so for uh, video communication is nothing but uh, so we have skype calls now we have chats so a lot of the also there so it will be helpful okay to detect a human okay a lot of things so for then then we we'll go for a face recognition so and then if you take a face recognition there are a lot of application like facial biometrics so nowadays uh, security is the main thing so uh, we will have uh, face recognition based door lock system and uh, if you take attendance marking so now in still now there are a lot of in every colleges and every schools so they are taking attendance manually so instead of that we can put up a camera in the uh, stage so it will automatically take attendance uh, every time so whenever afternoon or morning 
so it will take automatically attendance so and again it will automatically intimate or taking a records like he is absent or he is present today so like that kind of database management also can be done and also uh, and also if we take uh, thieves okay so so if we take uh, finding a thieves from the crowd so there are a lot of crowds in it so if some thief have been escaped so by using a face recognition technology from the crowd itself we can find a thieves right so and then receptionist so, so receptionist uh, now it is uh, highly mandatory so, to avoid a human contact we need we need this kind of receptionist okay so in the receptionist uh, will have this um, uh, like uh, so we need to avoid a human contact so we can deploy one face recognition based uh, one machine to do a, a reception kind of application so it will automatically identify the person or patient who is coming in so it will start capturing a face and uh, it will um, uh, it will identify the uh, patient and it will identify the temperature by using a thermal camera and it will automatically report to, to the doctor that this is the name of the patient he is having a fever and he is not having any other cold or anything so we can fix an appointment tomorrow 10 am so those kind of uh, application we can be done uh, by using this face recognition okay and then if you take autonomous vehicles that is a very huge trend in uh, future technology that is autonomous vehicle so this below image which is the which is obtained from the tesla which i have took in from uh, another uh, channel uh, youtube uh, which is the video so i took uh, an image so if you see an image so there are lot of parameter you should be monitor on so first one is pedestrian detection a pedestrian is nothing but a person or any object which is uh, coming over the roads and traffic light detection and road sign recognition and uh, lane detection okay lane detection is nothing but it should follow the lane it should not cross over the lane when it is very traffic so those kind of uh, traffic or uh, vehicle management it should be done uh, by using the uh, autonomous vehicle technology so on the autonomous vehicle technology in the car in a single car they may load up to five or six cameras in it to identify an image or to identify the light detection or uh, or stop sign recognition or lane detection so lot of uh, like parked vehicle detection or moving a vehicle detection so lot of parameters you should measure so we will put up two cameras in the phone and a front and another in a back so lot kind of operation we can done by using the autonomous vehicle with the help of image processing okay and then we'll move on to disease detection so there are a lot of uh, this is uh, detected by from the medical image for example diabetic retinopathy if you take uh, uh, the lot of uh, the well known popular eye, eye hospital which is aravind the eye specialty hospital which also uses artificial intelligence based image obtaining of diabetic retinopathy to cure or to analyze or to detect the diabetic retinopathy which is nothing but a blood leakage in uh, eyeballs so those kind of diseases can be detected from the medical image so with the help of image processing application so if you take a doctors so they have that knowledge how that the uh, blood leakage will be in the diabetic or any fracture or anything so they will look up that image medical image and then they will identify so instead we can design and system to recognize it so those kind of thing and uh, by using a temperature detection by using a thermal camera for to avoid a uh, human contact okay and then uh, what we can go we can go for emotion recognition it is also a very uh, huge application so we can deploy it in um, uh, every traffic cameras to monitor every citizens either he, they are happy or either they are in a very emotional depressed depressed state to identify the suicidal activities it is very it is highly happening in uh, nowadays so to avoid those kind of suicidal activities uh, to avoid it, those kind of suicidal activities we can deploy emotion recognition to de uh, to detect the depressions so those kind of operation we can done using a emotion recognition and if we take agriculture so plant disease detection or fruit or vegetable classification so those kind of operation will be helpful to avoid a uh, lot of human efforts and also it will be very remotely structured and it will gonna be turned into a uh, completely autonomous uh, to detect a vehicle uh, disease uh, sorry to detect a plant disease and a fruit and veg a vegetable classification either it is a rotten or either it is a good or bad so those kind of classification can be done in agriculture field with the help of image processing and then um, satellite image processing so on the satellite image processing uh, we'll move on to the mapping so first application is a mapping so from the satellite we are they are obtaining the 
थ्रू आउट एवरी दे आर मॉनिटरिंग एवरी थ्रू आउट एवरी वर्ड एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू मैपिंग थ्रू आउट द सैटेलाइट इमेज एंड फर्स्ट न्यूज ऑन द मैपिंग सो गूगल मे हैव इंटर प्लानेटरी मैपिंग सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो इफ वी आर फोक इफ आर गूगल मैप इज फोकस्ड ऑन इंडिया ओके इफ आई एम डूइंग जूम आउट जूम आउट जूम आउट जूम आउट देन देर विल बी आवर ग्लोब आर आवर वर्ल्ड ओके आवर एर्थ ओके एंड देन दे विल मूव ऑन द ड्रैगिंग एर्थ साइड एंड दे आर चूजिंग अनदर प्लानेट एंड वी आर गोइंग अनदर देर आर इट इज देर आर ऑल्सो यर फ्यूचर पॉसिबिलिटीज द लाइक दे आर स्पेस एक्स आर ट्रेइंग सैटेलाइट दे आर डूइंग अ रिसर्च इन टू हैव सिटी ऑन मार्स सो वी मे हैव टू प्लानेट्स इन अवर गूगल मैप्स सो ऑन द गूगल मैप इट सेल्फ यू विल लोड दिस मैप ओके सो दिस एर्थ और दिस मार्स okay we can switch over from another google globe or another um, earth or uh, mars so there are some those kind of future possibilities okay so those kind of thing and uh, the second application second news that is vegetation that is a completely weird news uh, by using a satellite image we can able to predict or we can able to predict the uh, wealth of uh, like a vegetation wealth of a country from the satellite image so if i am if i am monitoring the gujarat from the satellite image i i can able to identify what is the vegetation product they are already cropped like uh, is it a wheat or is it a barley or is it a rice i can i able to identify with the help of us in a satellite image so by with the help of satellite image analysis okay and then robot vision so on the robot vision it is very simple so there are a lot of robots they are we have seen we have seen uh, sofia we will have uh, that is kind of humanoid robot so we need the vision so for that localization and vision and detection and recognition so for that we can go for uh, robot vision application okay and then uh, if we going for pattern recognition so ocr that is nothing but optical character recognition so optical character recognition nothing but converting uh, image from a text okay so sorry uh, text from an image okay if i take this image so so from that image we can able to recognize the character or uh, letter which is present or you can recognize the char- handwritten recognition so those kind of pattern kind of analysis we can do uh, pattern recognition with the help of image processing and then search engines and then in, if you take a search uh, if you take a search engines there are lot of search engine applications so for example uh, image search you are doing a image search so based on your text search so it is uh, giving you a image kind of related search and then image plagiarism checker so it is nothing but if you are using uh, any copyrighted images so Im- from the search itself it can be able to identify it with the help of image processing uh, for image plagiarism checker so those kind of uh, search engine application for image processing and then if you take a transmission and encoding so image transmission this is the application which we going to see today so stenography which is nothing but hiding an uh, text inside an image and cryptography i am going to hide an image inside an image and a video streaming so here we have already in real live so we are going to uh, we are have a real time live intra- uh, interaction when i am very far from you so those kind of uh, video streaming also it will be helpful for uh, with the help of image processing and then uh, if you take medical equipment so there are lot of medical equipment such as gamma ray imaging pet scan x ray imaging medical ct scan med is uh medical ct scan or uv imaging so those kind of lot of uh, medical equipments which will be using an image processing so that is on the medical uh, equipments and if you take a mobile and the camera there are lot of ai cameras so already now uh, every uh, cameras or every every uh, every mobile phone is having an ai camera to detect a face or to detect uh, to adjust the resolution or to adjust the uh, uh, camera quality or video quality so it is automatically adjusting especially if you take uh, google pixel xl so if you take a lot of companies like uh, other other company other products such as mi or anything so they are uh, using uh, four to five cameras to do lot of operations but if you take a google pixel xl what they are doing they are having only one camera but they are giving a same quality by using a single camera how how they are giving a uh same quality of an image from a single camera how they are giving everything is an ai so by using an ai they are by using a single camera they are performing or they are enhancing every image to shoot out a very perfect uh image okay by using that uh, they are um, doing those kind of applications so by using an ai based camera in the single camera itself they are giving a that kind of resolution that kind of uh, application in the 
uh, Google Pixel XL. That is a very biggest example. So, for example, you can take iPhone also. If you take iPhone SE 2 num uh, model number 2, so that also it contains only one camera, but they are giving very, uh, very high resolution uh, by using a single camera. It is nothing but completely opt optimization. So, other thing like a barcode scanner, uh, why are you using in a Google Pay or Phone Pay or uh, Paytm? Or else you can give the camera based measurement that is for uh, AR based camera measurement that is available in uh, your uh, your iPhones and scanner such as uh, document scanner or photo scanner, ID scanner. So those kind of image processing applications. And then if you take designing application there are for uh, if you take civil or mechanical designs. So 3D printing designs. So lot of designs we are performing in the software itself. So that is nothing but an image processing to view an image in a 3D dimension, three dimensions, okay. So those kind of designing software which also uses that one. So and if you take augmented and real, virtual reality, so AR and VR games. So we have already playing uh, VR games as well as augmented reality games. So for best example, VR box are there. So like uh, um, some kind of uh, ghost games are available for VR games that is very cheap or you can buy purchase for 500 rupees for uh, VR, VR boxes, virtual reality boxes and if you take AR games, so for a best example is a Pokemon Go, uh, even I have played that Pokemon Go, so we have to hold our mobile phone and we have to walk in our streets, so whenever the Pokemon is detected, we have to turn on the camera and we have to capture that Pokemon, so those kind of augmented reality games are there and also we can uh, really interact with the 3D dimension like uh, AR based uh, representation of any other product. Uh, that is nothing but image time, image, real time image projection and AR application other such as lens card. So if you have, uh, if you are going to purchase one uh, glass, one cooling glass or your uh, power glasses, okay. So lens card is uh, providing AR based uh, real time interaction. So without going into the, without going into lens card, you can uh, directly go into the lens card website and you can you open your camera and you can change every glasses there itself. By using augmented reality, you can check um, whether that uh, suitable that glass is suitable for you or not. So those kind of interaction you can done it in, in um, lens card. Okay. So okay, and then those kind of uh, virtual and augmented reality. Okay. And then finally, we'll end the demo session, guys. So first, uh, we'll see our demo. So on the demo, first, I'm going to show uh, let's be watermarking. So. Uh, same as like I am going to open in the terminal and then I am going to type python. So what is meant by LS uh, technography? So here what we are going to do is uh, here the security is the main thing the encryption decryption. I am going to uh, take an image okay. So for example here there are main image okay. So I will delete this. Okay, so here only two image, one is main.bmp and cover.bmp. In that main.bmp, this is the image, main image. In that main image, I am going to hide this cover.bmp. Okay, so that uh, I will send this main.bmp, that uh, secret hidden image I will obtain now. So that image I will share to everyone. No one will see the uh, cover.bmp is hidden inside that image. So by using that encryption, I am going to do this, uh, I am going to show you that uh, live performance. Uh, live uh, demo on this LSB watermarking. So I am going to do the watermarking. Okay. So nothing but watermarking is nothing but in the watermarking there are two types. One is um, uh, one is uh, uh, I am going to uh, watermarking is one is visible and another one is non visible invisible. So on that I am going to hide this image inside here. So if you take a stenography, uh, the stenography uh, I am going to we can able to hide the text inside an image. Okay. So here I'm going to hide an image inside an image. Okay. So, so those kind of thing I am going to do. So this is the GUI. So I'm going to load an image first. So browse image. I have loaded this main.bmp. So main.bmp is loaded. And I'm going to load and cover image which should be hidden inside the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this image inside this input image. Okay. Now I click this hide data. So after clicking the hide data, I got, I got this uh, stego image. Okay. So this is that secret one dot BMP. So this secret dot BMP is nothing but a hidden image. So this image I can share to anyone. So from there they can able to retrieve the original data. So I have uh, this bro I'm clicking the browse and secret dot BMP and then data retrieve. So data retrieve it is retrieved that uh, retrieved image. 
So if you see here, this image I have in, I have dropped inside this one, and I have retrieved also. Okay, on the receiver side. Okay, so this will be helpful for uh, secure data transmission, which is uh, already WhatsApp is using that. So if you have seen the WhatsApp before, there is no encryption or decryption before. But after lot of issues came, so they have uh, implemented, they have dropped that encryption. So if you have uh, beginning a new chat, it will show that encryption is enabled in this chat. So like that it will show. So those kind of encryption and decryption only they have done. So if you take a technography that is different. So if you take watermarking, it is different. Okay. Watermarking is like hiding an image inside an image. Okay. And then if you take object recognition. So here in this object recognition, object recognition can be done in lot of ways. So here I am using a YOLO. Yo, YOLO is nothing but you only look once. So you only look once, uh, so for example, if you take object recognition in different uh, mobile net, SSD or uh, you can take um, uh, YOLO, if you take mobile net, it will have limited object recognized, limited object only can be recognized. But if you take you only uh, YOLO, you can do lot of, um, lot of image uh, processing application, okay. So those kind of, lot of uh, object recognition you can then, okay. So now I'm going to enter and you have to enable uh, YOLO. So YOLO uses Coco data set. Coco is nothing but one data set which contains lot of object. So here I have already implemented one camera here. Okay. It was recognized as a uh, person as well as a uh, bottle. So this is real time recognition. So here since it is also recognized it is a cell phone but it is having very less accuracy. But if you see this person it is a uh, point triple uh, nine accuracy. So it is very accuracy. It is has very, uh, very accuracy when compared to other models. So you can go for this YOLO. Okay. I am closing this uh, code. Okay, so these are the demos. Uh, I'm really, really sorry for that uh, delay, guys. Since uh, it, uh, we have tend to very short span of time, so since we have to complete uh, the session within one hour, so due to that delay, I've uh, just uh, I just go through very uh, fast, right? So, so yeah, sorry for that, guys. I really, I'm really, really, really sorry for that uh, delay. Okay, so that's why we are just uh, rushed up a little bit. So just this is the two demos. So on that first we have seen a watermarking. We are we, we are just a uh, uh, hidden. Uh, we are just hide one image inside and another. And uh, by using object recognition we have deployed a YOLO. That is you you only look once, which is which we have seen as a real time. It may recognize up to uh, 100. Uh, sorry, uh, 50 to 40 40 to 50 images. It can able to recognize include cars, tables, chairs. A uh, person, a uh, pen, or a spoon, or a uh, bottle, or cup, lot of images it can able to recognize. Okay, so and we are in the question and answer session, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask now. Okay, so I hope you are all in still in online, so you can ask me your questions now. So I am waiting for your questions. We are in the question and answer session, so you can ask the questions now. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So we'll move on to the questions, guys. I'm waiting for your questions. So which type of Python version is normally suitable for Windows 7 64-bit PC to work in image processing? So if for image processing, you can go for uh, normal basic Python latest version. You can uh, install with the help of Visual Studio also. 
any version you can use better to avoid uh, better to use uh, 3.6 or 3.7 why because it is uh, completed okay it is not a beta it is completely it is uh, completed versions you can go for 3.6 or 3.7 uh, what about a test track library it is also used for image job processing it is a very good question test track is nothing but uh, for uh, OCR that is optical character recognition uh, that Tesseract OCR which will be helpful for doing a character recognition. Uh, if you want I can show the demo later on on the later session to recognize the uh, uh, letters which is present in any product. Do CCTV camera give feedback for a detection? Harish uh, might is a very good question. Uh, do CCTV camera but if you take normal CCTV camera it won't have that future that is the main thing. Why if you are a will developer if you are doing a very good uh, application deep learning AI based application you can do that you can do real time detection if some person enter in our room if, uh, if someone if some person enter into the company if some new person is entering into the company with the help of face recognition you can deploy a real time alert or real time security system with the help of deep learning or AI based camera is it possible only with python or we can make also other programming language yeah you can go for uh, C++ or you can go for a MATLAB so these are very good uh, platform you can go for image processing how light detector will work light detector will work uh, based on our human face expression so only face expression is not enough only also your brain waves so from by processing a brain waves and also uh, image processing or uh, video processing you can detect the lives uh, thank you sir. Please host one session on image processing application in MATLAB. Surely, surely we are going to have a, a series of session on uh, MATLAB. Okay, it will be helpful. Is this helpful? Is this helpful to detect tsunami and volcanic eruption? Uh, yeah, uh, why? Because uh, if it take volcanic eruption or tsunami, so it will be happened from the deep sea of the deepest of the sea, right? So there you can apply any kind of sensor based activities as well as image processing kind of activity to detect or to kind of to do kind of some kind of application those kind of detection and the activations right which library to start with uh, three I didn't answer I didn't get your questions which algorithms are used in the image processing there are a lot kind of algorithms uh, here uh, least significant big which is used for uh, watermarking. I want to run a code for fire detection alarm detection with a ceasefire. Cease fire. So it is nothing but uh, there are one option. One you can go for um, uh, fire HSV based fire detection or two you can go for a deep learning. So if you are performing only uh, color based so it won't be good or it won't be nice to detect uh, any other color object. So you can go for a deep learning to train a uh, fired image and non fire uh, image. So you can deploy a deep learning to classify a fire in a very good accuracy. Encryption and algorithm about image processing. So in the encryption uh, nothing but. So here uh, I am going to have an image. I am going to hide a text inside an image. And I am going to send an image uh, through social media through anything. On the receiver side they will download. And they will do the de decryption and they will keep it in your uh, laptops. So you will they will get the message by using an encryption and decryption. Can we use this libraries to increase the resolution of image? Yeah, of course, I have already done that super resolution uh, code. I have in this PPT there are super resolution. So you can go for it and you can perform it. Can we send a Morse code using image processing? Yes, of course. Uh, Morse code is nothing but a dots and dashes, right? So in the image, you can hide those information in the image with the help of encryption and decryption. That is just technography. Uh, can we expect MATLAB on wireless sensor network session? Yeah, we can have that session. Which library is to start with the beginner in the image processing? The libraries which I have discussed today was the basic libraries which you can use for basic uh, image processing. Uh, if you are a very good beginner, you can go for OpenCV library. It is very easy to use and very easy to install. You can go for it. Can you do face recognition using CCTV live footage? by using image processing yes we can do that so already in the previous session we have seen a face recognition application so uh, same as like we can go for this kind of face recognition with the help of any cctv camera also 
कैन यू टेल समथिंग अबाउट ओपन सी वी एंड इमेज रेकग्नेशन और फेस रेकग्नेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द फेस रेकग्नेशन सो इफ यू टेक अ फेस रेकग्नेशन द फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी रिक्वायर इज अ फेस डिटेक्शन सो फॉर फेस डिटेक्शन देर आर टू ऑप्शन टू डिटेक्ट अ फेस वन बाई यूजिंग अ हार कैस्केड अलगोरिदम टू डिटेक्ट अ फेस नंबर टू to detect a face to detect a face you can go for deep learning to detect a where the face is located from the complete frame so these are the first process face detection so second face recognition on the face recognition part you can go for machine learning first option is machine learning and second option you can go for a facial landmarks detection so 68 landmarks are there so 68 landmarks will be placed in the face to have a face comparison to how much percentage of uh, landmarks will be match, matched to the other person or in the to the data set to identify that is the person or that is the person okay that is the thing how to extract or get to know the specific object properties in xml or any specific format as a data set so if you take a data set uh, that's why there are a lot of learning supervised or unsupervised or uh, reinforcement so supervised means so we have to give the data set in the format of labeled one so apple lick 100 images of apple 100 images of banana to classify and apples are banana if i take uh, unsupervised learning so it will have a combined uh, data sets like apple as well as banana automatically it identify the future or it automatically identify the pattern of the image which is already present there so that to identify the apple or banana okay those those kind of uh, learning you can done can we use matlab or python tools for analysis of dna microarray image data yeah of course you can do uh, nowadays lot of industries are moving towards uh, ai based analysis of medical images to perform or to detect a disease or to detect, detect uh, uh, any kind of uh, medical op operations how we can achieve the image processing accuracy in satellite images that is based on your deep learning or machine learning model or uh, deep learning neural network or neural network which are designed so you have to do the calibration so first you have to do like test and trial first you have to do the training and you have to see the accuracy and loss so if it is not good again you have to increase the data set and you have to fine tune the data set and you have to do the training again and you have to get the accuracy and the loss again so you have to do the fine tuning to get very good accuracy uh which one is best one python c language or matlab uh yeah this is the good question but uh, i've already used a matlab as well as python uh but uh, i like uh, both uh because uh, both is very helpful if you take python uh, so there are two comparison so like for example if you take matlab it doesn't has lot of uh, option or availabilities so for example Uh, image can be read in the python with the help of fill with the help of uh, open cv with the help of other uh, scikit image a lot of things but if you take matlab it is a single command you can directly read an image it is very 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 easy to use in a matlab based on the syntax but if you take in a hardware based deployment of our image processing application python is very good because in a raspberry pi it will easily supports a python so you can easily write a python program to do those kind of application so both are equal okay so you can go for it both do you take a session on machine learning and artificial intelligence yeah surely surely we'll take that session so main thing no uh, before before python before python and open cv the matlab is very popular for image processing but after python came in it is very much easy to deploy it in a hardware that's why uh, it is uh, advisable to uh, move on to the uh, python also uh matlab also supports hardware packages in raspberry pi or arduino or anything but uh it is very easy to use while in a python in directly in a raspberry pi so that's why python is advisable to in a hardware but if you are in a software manner you can go for a matlab also it is very easy to use and uh, there are a lot of lot of packages also available i think you already have every contacts so you can contact for your researchers share ppt surely will share you the ppt already i think so you all get the link yeah with they have given a contact you can give uh, you can directly give, uh, ping to this whatsapp number if you are seen in a live chat uh, you can ping it in the live chats
Still, I'm waiting for your questions, guys. You can ask now. How about career opportunities in the area? Yeah, John Kingsley, it's a very good question. There are a lot of opportunities. Why? Because uh, even uh, basic uh, stock broker, uh, not not a stock broker, uh, if uh, house uh, house predictions, house price predictions, or uh, any contractors or building designers, every lot of industries are moving towards artificial intelligence. So it is uh, very much. Um, are uh, necessary to move on AI yeah, with image processing not only pure image uh, not only basic image processing you just move on to the AI based image processing to have uh, very much uh, scope on a future okay so you have to move, move on to the AI based image processing technologies So finally, um, we are very much sorry for that, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, sorry for that delay and sorry for that uh, wrong pro wrong uh, projections. Okay, I'm really really sorry for that. Um, uh, that's why we are just a little bit rushed up. Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me at sanjay@pantechmail.com or after the session ends, you can give it in a comment box so that everyone will get benefit on it. And if you need any kind of project or projects, uh, product or projects or uh, research based ideas, you can directly ping at WhatsApp uh, www.pantechsolutions are there. And you can go for um, WhatsApp number which is given in the live chat. And uh, the upcoming session, we are going to see autonomous vehicle technology and uh, e vehicle technology and 5G technology, as well as we are going to discuss about uh, webinars on uh, image processing with the MATLAB. So, we are going to have a detailed session on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your response, guys. You have, if you have uh, any questions, you can ping me at sanjayatpantakmail.com or you can give it in a comment below. Okay. Thank you, thank you for watching, uh, watching this video, guys, and see you in the next webinar. See you then. Bye.